Right. Number eleven. Yeah, we're working around the clock. We're trying to we're trying to fix all this. All right. Well, thank you very much. You've been very helpful, and uh, by Monday everything should definitely be be working just fine. Okay. Thank you. Very all right. Much. Take care. I think we could have kept that guy on the phone for another half hour. <laughs> but here's the thing, all right, I've just, I've just made it okay to come by his station with an unmarked vehicle and go into his office <laughs> just because I called on the phone. I mean, that's, that's, and I hope we didn't give out <laughs> too much information to, uh, for somebody to actually do that tonight. But, but if you are going to do that, you better do it soon because he leaves in an hour. That's the best I can do. We only have a few minutes left. So any closing comments? We, we have to keep to the schedule. I can do a story. Everybody wants you no, to call Billy. Okay. No we're, not uh, no, we're not calling him because, first of all, his number has already been given out. He's getting a phone call from that woman at the gas station right now who's chewing his ear off or something. Uh, and uh, Dilly was his name, right? Is it Dilly or Billy? Billy. Is it Billy? All right, whatever. I'm still not going to. I didn't write down his number, so I can't call him. You can call her back. That's the thing, you know, don't keep more information than you need to keep because uh, it, can, it can be a hindrance at times. And also know how to back out gracefully so that people don't call the cops and things. Are you finding, uh, are you finding uh, when you make calls like this that uh, over the past few years, uh, frontline people you normally have to deal with um, are typically not uh, native English speakers, and it's and the same problems we have getting like tech support or something talking to people like this, um, it's, it's often difficult to... Uh, uh, social engineer them just because there's a language barrier. You just um, have to change the way you, uh, you present yourself. I mean, does it present an opportunity though? Uh, uh, definitely presents opportunities. Everything presents an opportunity. And in fact, you can call yourself as somebody who doesn't speak English and people will tell you more because they're trying to get you off the phone and they're trying to explain things slowly and loudly. And they'll just, uh, they'll read all kinds of things off to you that normally they wouldn't read to somebody who spoke at their level of, uh, of uh, language. And uh, yeah, many of the time we've been able to get information that way just by speaking with a, a crazy accent or pretending that we don't understand what they're talking about. So they'll just keep feeding information to get rid of us. Any, uh, any last comments? It's absolutely unbelievable how many places and things you can get out of people by just saying you're the phone company. It still works to this day. I mean, I can, I, there are many times where I've gotten into places I should not have been by just having a clipboard and saying, I'm Verizon. People just open doors, unlock things, safes were opened. I mean, things I should not have been anywhere near by just having a clipboard and saying, I'm the phone company. A clipboard or a lot of keys. Uh, this is a good trick. I mean, I don't advise this, but just walk up to a bouncer outside a club with a clipboard, ask him what his name is, check him off, say, okay, you're where you're supposed to be, and then move him. Say, can you stand by this door instead? <laughs> you know? This is not theoretical. This happens, and it's pretty easy. It doesn't happen just on TV, and then you have control over that door. Before you know it, you're running the club. It <laughs> there was a good one at Caltech. What's Sim that? There was a good one at Caltech. Some years ago, if you find the book, um, If It All Possible, Involve a Cow, which is a great record of college pranks. There was one at Caltech, which is where I, I grew up near Caltech. Uh, apparently, at one point, the, a bunch of students poured dry ice all over the street and went around with clipboards and white lab coats, stopping cars and saying, no, guys, the cyclotron is eating up the street. You need to go somewhere else. That was good. OK, folks, we're out of time, but a couple of uh, announcements. All the talks in. Um, Lovelace and Bell are delayed one hour, except for the Telephone Pioneer talk, which is beginning now after this one. And those of you who like phones, that's the place to be. Uh, Robert Steele is going to be in this room at midnight instead of Lovelace. And the Hacker Cinema will be beginning at 1 AM in Lovelace. And the concerts, uh, Gus, tell us about the concerts. Concerts, we're having 8-bit uh, and chiptune and circuit mending concerts, uh, 1130 down on the second floor in the Video Temple. It was a lot of fun last night. Thank you, everybody. It was Club great. Mate on sale all night long yeah. and uh, all kinds of other fun stuff going on, on the second floor. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Once again, uh, content provided by www.mediaarchives.com. Whatever you're doing in life, it should be social engineering. Oh. My. God.